हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पर एग्जांपल कर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेल्फोर्स एडमिन एंड सेल्फोर्स डेवलपर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज दोज आर यूज्ड इन सेल्फोर्स सो इन सेल्फोर्स वी रेगुलरली यूज दिस टर्मिनोलॉजीज ऑर्ग ऑब्जेक्ट फील्ड रिकॉर्ड टैब एंड ऐप अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस देयर आर मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजीज दोज वी विल सी इन अपकमिंग वीडियोस so we'll go one by one and we'll see what is the meaning of this first terminology is in org now see what is the meaning of org org is a short form for organization so org means organization to understand the meaning of org we will take one example we all use gmail when we create an account on gmail or google we get some virtual space right and in that virtual space we have emails even that space we use to save our files in google drive right so we have account on google and in that account we get some space where we have mails also we save our files in the same way for organization we have to create one account on salesforce and that account is called as org now see we will see definition a deployment of salesforce with a defined set of license user means when for any organization when we are creating or there are some authenticated users which have some permissions and roles organization is the virtual space provided to an individual customer of salesforce right so already we have talked about this just like gmail for our organization we will get virtual space on salesforce cloud your organization includes all of your data and application so in one org just like we have seen example of gmail so we'll have mails there right in the same way in our org there will be our data and some applications and it is separate from all the organization in the sense different organizations will have different org right so each organization's data and applications will be different than the other organization right that will be particular to that organization so basically org is nothing but account on the salesforce cloud right so on salesforce we are creating one account and that is called as org or it stands for the organization next we'll see types of org so basically there are two types of org one is production org and another is development org now what is the meaning of this production orgs are designed to be used with the live customer data and to actively run your business so org which is actually used by business and which has live customer data and which is actively running for your business it is called as production org there are four editions of production org essentials professional enterprise and unlimited now what is the difference between this there are different features provided by this edition so for production org we have this four edition on this link we can find the difference between this edition see i have opened this link here for this four edition there is different pricing for example see $25 per user per month this is for essentials $75 per user per month for professional so for every edition there is different pricing and accordingly we get some features now see next is development org so see we have seen there are two types of org right production org and development org production is the org which is actually used by business which has a current data current live data now development org is used for building and testing new features and customization suppose you want to build some features or suppose we want to do some customization so it is done by using development org so this development is done inside this development org and once it is tested it is released into the production org and production org is the org which is actually used by the business right so first it is tested in development org once it is tested it is released in the production org just like production org there are several types of development org here you can see full copy sandbox partial copy sandbox developer pro org developer edition org scratch org these are the different editions of development org next one important terminology from salesforce is an object now see if you are from programming background so in c++ and java language many times we use this terminology that is object and in java c++ and java language we use this terminology object for the instance of class right but in salesforce object stands for table of data so any table of data is nothing but object in salesforce for example see here suppose if you take sales app and here in products so see 
this is one table right this is one table and this table is nothing but object in salesforce so any table of data is called as object in salesforce next field so every column is called as field so see in this table product name product code product description these are the fields this is column right this is one column second column third column so this is one field second field third field product name product code product description are the different fields in this object right next record so every row in object called as record every row in object is called as record so in this case this is one row means one record first record second record third record like this every row represents one record in object next then we have one more important technology that is tab first we'll see definition tabs in salesforce are reference links that redirect us to display data of objects web page visual force page or lightning component so tabs i will show you see this is sales app and here home chatter campaign leads accounts contacts opportunity all these are the tab home chatter campaign leads forecast order cases solution all these are the tabs now what is this tab these are the links these are the reference link if we click on this link we can get data of objects object mean table just like see product is a tab and when you click on this we got data of this object right in the same way we can get any web page we can get any visual force page or we can get any lightning component in lightning experience so see in salesforce we have two experience one is lightning experience and another is classic what we are seeing here that is a classic and we can switch to lightning experience also so this tab is a link and if we click on this link we can get data of objects we can get another web page we can get visual force page or we can get lightning component next app so see already that i have told now we are in a sales app right so if i click here these are the different apps service marketing all these are the different apps see if i choose service so see this tab got changed right if i choose marketing marketing is another app so here i got different tabs right so what is app number of items that work together to serve a particular functionality is termed as app so see sales is a app marketing is a app service is a app and these are the different components of that app now see what are these different items it can be standard objects custom objects visual force tabs web tabs lightning component tab means one app there can be standard object standard object in the sense tables are objects which are common to the all the apps custom objects means objects those are created for that particular app we can have visual force pages tabs which point to the visual force pages we can have web tabs we can have lightning component tabs right so for one particular app we can have this item for another app we will have different item so for different app we can have different item right salesforce app can be classic app or lightning app so already i have told there are different experience in salesforce right one is classic and another is lightning see here this is classic experience and also we can move to lightning experience here you can see this is lightning experience and these are the tabs from the lightning experience and previously that we have seen those were the tabs of classic experience just like this there are many different terminologies in salesforce in upcoming videos we'll go through all the terminologies so friends i hope you like this video if it is click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you